Hello everyone. My name is Lindsay Cousy. Welcome to Coffee with the Collective. We're just so excited to have you here. We've got Tammy, we've got Sarah, we've got Kim Castle here that we're interviewing. And I just have to say, like, this has been so much fun getting to know our Good Place Collective members and being able to spotlight and be like, hey, like, who are you? What do you do? What do you love? What makes you passionate? And um, I'm just so excited to connect with Kim today. So I'm gonna pass it off to Tammy. Tammy's gonna be our interviewee, but Kim, thank you and welcome. So good to thank have you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for That's being here. Awesome. So mm -hmm. Kim and thank I have you. actually, we were just trying to figure out how long we've actually known each other. And Kim was, uh, when I moved to Kelowna last year, I knew two people, Lindsay Cusey, <laughs> who I've actually known for a very long time since our days in Revelstoke, and Kim Castle. So I'm so excited that you're here. And that was like, you know, my past life. It, yeah, right. <laughs> we were both both heavy heavy into raw food at the time. Yeah, taking mm -hmm. raw food courses together and all kinds of things in Kelowna. I'd come to Kelowna from Revelstoke and bring that knowledge back to uh, my group in Revelstoke. Yeah, yeah. It was so much fun. But now, essentially, we're partners, girl. Mm -hmm. oh. You think about it, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I know Lindsay, Lindsay and I have these aha moments all the time. It's like, wow, do you remember those days when, yeah, yeah. I know, look at us, look at us oh go. You're well, like pinching so, yourself, right? Yeah. I can so yeah. appreciate what you said too, Kim, about like, you know, from your former life. Like, I feel like I met Tammy in my former life. I know. And the Lindsay who's in am now is like totally, totally yeah. different. Same with like Tammy, like so much has changed. And, yeah. and I think it's also yeah. the power of, you know, just being open to keeping mm -hmm. relationships and being authentic mm -hmm. to yourself. And you just mm -hmm. never know when things are going to come around. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. So Kim, today is all about you, girl. Tell us about your business. Tell us a little bit more about who you are, what you do, um, and what, what problem you're solving for your clients. Absolutely. Um, so essentially, I'm an individual and couples counselor, which is my official title. Um, and really, I see myself as a facilitator um, in order to kind of guide people through the experience of life. Um, and ultimately, my biggest hope is to create, you know, I could very easily just tell you what's going on and how to fix it. But at the end of the day, until you have the awareness to have that aha moment by yourself, you're not going to be able to step into that space. So my job, I see you really as the facilitator to ask you those questions, to really create that awareness of how you're operating, what's driving those behaviors, those emotions, and those thoughts, to then be able to choose differently. So um, I do that both with individuals and couples. It obviously looks a little bit different with couples, um, only because there's that dynamic of two people and trying to figure out what they're experiencing on an individual level and how they bring it to the couple is very different. Um, but ultimately that's my, that's my, my job, how I see my, my, my job. I don't like to call it a job. My career is really the facilitator in helping you have those aha moments and kind of connect the dots and see the patterns and be able to step in and be empowered to make a different choice, not a choice out of survival, out of um the need for something or things like that it's really out of this is what i choose this is where i want to go this is who i want to be and just fully step in and be empowered to do so i think that's brilliant and i think you're so eloquent in the way that you describe what it is that you do and i think really it, it, you should be calling it a calling like i know it's mm. your career but it's really your mm -hmm. calling and, and that's mm -hmm. as you express what you're saying that's totally evident completely so who or what inspires you oh my gosh that was such a like <laughs> ah, question um really at the end of the day humans inspire me because at the and like it's so fast i'm such a people watcher <laughs> and it's so fascinating my actually i have a term for that and i don't know if any of you have heard it before it's called gawking yeah i've no? heard of gawking yes okay i've heard of gawking so, I have there's gawking. gawking like you know and then there's <laughs> gawking just like observing right cute guy on the beach like <laughs> you, know, you know what you know it's so funny that you say that tammy because when i was in my hello work training a lot of it is about observing and gawking yeah. at people and right. analyze their structures and our teachers would say 
you guys gotta go to the beach, man. Like, that's the best way. <laughs> and I was like, that is so creepy. But you know what? They were right. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. oh, so without gawking, um, yeah. it's more so about um, seeing, like, even seeing my clients come in and make that first step into, oh my gosh, now I have to put a mirror in front of me and figure out what's going on. To me, that's really inspiring because that first step is really what's the hardest, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That was what was the hardest for me was to really kind of pop that little bubble that I had about myself that, oh, I'm fine. I got my shit together. You know, like, no, I don't, <laughs> you know? And so going over that hurdle is really what inspires me. So I would probably have to say hands down all humans because really, no matter where you are in your, in your experience, in your journey, there's something about you that's stepping into that inspiring place. Exactly. So, and, and that you've had your own personal story and your yeah. personal experience with that. And you're infusing that into each and every session with your clients. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your story, right? How did you get there? Oh gosh, How'd that's a really loaded life? question. <laughs> um, please feel free to cut me off because I can go on for a really long time about this story. But um, ultimately, uh, my story started when as most people do when there's a tragic event that happens in your life. Um, my husband and I have been together for, it will be 15 years this year. And the year I had my son, which was my firstborn, his brother had passed away unexpectedly, exactly two months after, um, exactly two months after my son was born. And so, you know, we were trekking along, da da da, everything was great. We were now new mom, new dad, whatever. And then all of a sudden it was like psh, smack in the face kind of thing. And as you can imagine, with an unexpected death in the family, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Shit hits the fan. And you come to a space of really, okay, now I'm a new mom. I'm excited, but yet everybody around me is grieving. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, you know. Anyways, and I basically numbed it out. I shut it off because I had to focus on being a new mom. And um, I did that for about four and a half years. And my relationship was just, you know, sure, you're, you're the father of my child. But other than that, there's really no intimate connection. There's no emotional connection. There was nothing, right? And there was a lot of ultimatums during that time of, okay, I, I really don't want to live my life like this and let's just call it what it is and and just kind of go on our merry way and um anyways fast forward a little bit i got into the world of personal development and i did some work with uh, dr john d martini who's a human behavior specialist and he really his specialty is honing in on what your highest values are and how to integrate them into your life and my top three highest values were learning relationships and communication and from that my husband so keep in mind my husband actually came in to do the work with me which was absolutely amazing you know. um that was the absolute shift in our relationship um it was probably the scariest more so for him but also for the both of us of like what does that look like where are you going that there's a lot of stuff that comes up um, and as soon as we started going down that path together, it was these aha moments that were happening throughout our relationship. And we were like, Oh my gosh, like, how did we let ourselves get that far? How did we become so disconnected? You know, so on and so forth. And, and of course we went through this, this phase of, you know, because essentially there was this grief around what my relationship looked like before and what it was now. And and then we went through this stage of also feeling grief around, oh my gosh, I feel so sorry. I'm, I'm so, you know, part of me was struggling with that. I want to be compassionate towards the fact that you've lost your brother. But on the other hand, I'm also really grieving the fact that we've lost our relationship. And I don't, I don't want to become resentful about that because it was completely out of your control. You know, it wasn't something that you did. And so anyways there was this there was this struggle back and forth all the time and when we both stepped into that space of recognizing where we were that's when all the light bulbs went off and we were like oh my gosh like okay we're, we're committed we're focusing we're really doing the work and we're um 
individually working on ourselves, but also working together as a couple. Yeah. And so when I felt that little bit of hope for our relationship, I was like, oh my gosh, I know. Like I could count off all the people in my life that I was like, no, don't go down that path. Like there's hope, there's that, you know? And that's essentially where I connected my values to where I wanted to go in life because my previous life, I was a, I was a preschool teacher. And as much as it was filling my cup up, it wasn't fulfilling all these other parts of my life. Mm-hmm. And so when I connected my values and we started doing the work and then I went back to school and I was like, oh, ah! like it was such this, like, I get tingled. I get like, I get yeah. like tingly mm-hmm. talking about oh, it. Right? I can get like, yeah. like, <laughs> like like you know, really you know, on your path that's when you, those tingles come out, right? Like the, yeah. you know, all the butterflies yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. you're yeah. doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's so evident when we talk to so, you. So honestly, that is probably the most, I mean, there's a lot of moments in my life that I have, um, like that I feel really, really proud of, but I ultimately feel so much pride in the fact that we worked through it because we could have easily just thrown in the towel and said, screw it, we're done. Right? Yeah. And and we put the work in and as a result our family is thriving and we both have we both feel fulfilled and we both are connected on on many different levels and it and it just feels so so for me it's really sharing that experience for people to see that there is hope and that there is a space to step in to go okay you know what you know maybe I did screw up whatever the scenario is maybe something happened to me and I went down a really dark path and I completely shut off everybody in my life Mm-hmm. but I can still come back from that. Beautiful. I love that. I think that's so, so great. Oh, yeah. It's that's so amazing. Beautiful, Thank, Thank you, you for so much. sharing that with us and for being so vulnerable mm-hmm. and you, that experience in itself, um, what it lends to who you are now mm-hmm. and as a therapist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So enriching the experience for your clients will be so, so, so much more enriching, right? For sure. So, and no. then it just makes us so much more grateful that you're here in our space with us and with the collection. Um, what does in in that in that manner, um, as far as what you what you can do now and working with us in collaboration and connection? What does the collaboration actually mean to you? Oh my gosh, I love that question, and it really brought back. Um, so through our work. Um, there was this one facilitator who said to us there's always going to be um how did she put it I can't remember that she phrased it so well but essentially it was um somebody else always knows how to do something way better than you right so there was the example of there was there was just a person at the um, at the lodge that we were at and they were sweeping the floor so beautifully right like they were taking they were paying so much attention to it and it was really a matter of um legacy right to them and I thought oh my gosh you sweep the floor way better than I do right (laughs) and so I thought oh my gosh everybody has this little tidbit of you know like maybe you can sew really well maybe you can maybe you can you know speak really well maybe you can cook really well whatever that is right everybody has this one or maybe more little thing that they do so much better than me right and so I was Mm -hmm. like oh my gosh why why do I have to be this like selfish person and go, Oh, I got it all. I know it all. I know what to do to when in fact, I really don't. So step into it, be honest with yourself, be vulnerable and say, you know what, you do this way better than me. Let's work together. And so that that collaboration piece for me is really kind of, um, I, I feel like it's kind of picking out of the out of the collective if you will okay this is what you do this is what you do this is what you do and now let's pull them together and figure out how we can make this this beautiful community that That, you feel so proud of right like you can honestly feel comfortable in referring somebody and saying you know what i know that they can do this really really well mm -hmm. right oh exactly that's exactly the point so that sort of leads into the next question it was what it what do you personally hope to gain from being part of the community and I think you may have already answered that but um so (laughs) so so beautifully uh I I think that the the one aspect that stands out the most for me is really feeling that 100 percent certainty that I can refer somebody and not 
have any backlash, not go, oh my gosh, their service was terrible, whatever that is, right? Yeah. If I'm, if I'm going to give that amount of certainty to my clients, I'm going to also feel that I can give that to everybody else that's within the collective. Beautiful. That's just fantastic. I love that. So beautiful. I think there's something to be said about being like just so confident in the people you surround yourself with. And I think that's a true reflection of what it is that we want to create and, you know, Mm -hmm. being exceptional people like yourself that just, you know, have that bigger vision and leading heart forward and knowing that you provide such a quality service and having none other but the expectation that other people are just as passionate about their niche, right? And about Mm -hmm. their their profession. So that's, yeah. thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you know, Kim, what you said as well about, you know, everybody having these like talents and gifts to share, I can really relate yeah. to that too, because kind of being that A type personality where you feel like you have to take it all on, it also just takes off mm. so much pressure to say, you Absolutely. know what, actually, I'm not that great at this, but this person <laughs> yeah. over here is amazing. So I yeah. can relate to that yeah. again. And you're just like, wow, like that, like what a relief, you know? So yeah, yeah. thanks for sharing that. I think that's really oh important. Goodness. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, own it, right? Like, don't, don't, don't be a know-it-all because really nobody knows it all. <laughs> no. Right? And, that's right. and, and it's impossible. That's we can't know it all. Like, no. Yeah. And I think that really turns me off in the sense of like, I, I don't believe you and I'm not going to refer you if I think you know it all kind of thing, yeah. right? So just be true and genuine to yourself and, and what you're capable of doing. I love Absolutely. that. That's amazing. Kim, on thank our you so just, much. Yeah, like, well, right there. Oh. Get on your fridge. That's beautiful. <coughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> There's just so much love so happening. Much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get your release. Thank you so much for being here oh. and answering our questions. You just, it's so great to get to know you a little better. And I hope that all our members in the group uh, watch and feel that they get to know you a little better. And I encourage everybody watching to contact Kim and reach out and you know we keep talking about this collaboration and this is really part of what this is about is getting to know everybody uh, as individual practitioners and to help kind of spark those ideas about Mm. what collaboration might look like however small or big Um, you know we interviewed Andrea Kelly last week and I've already done a podcast with her and we've collaborated and I'm just so excited to share a little bit more about that in the group but you know it's just incredible you know two people come together make a decision, commit, and you can create something really incredible. So I encourage all of you um, to reach out to one another and especially to Kim. Uh, Thank you again so much for showing up. And uh, I hope that we uh, can all work together more closely. This is just so exciting. Absolutely. Thank you again for having me on. It's been a really, it's been light and fun and really an opportunity for me to just be me and and share where, share where I want to go and and where I come from. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Next week.